What's up YouTube? Alright, so I am going to finally take out some of the cells out of pack 14 and maybe we can find out what the problem is or maybe not. I am at least minimum going to change out the green Fukushima cell with the discolored fuse minimum but now i might actually just take out all the fukushima cells and maybe i'm gonna pull out all the red sanyos and maybe we'll test all those as well because well i mean i still have to fix the antimatter charger so we might as well test a few cells while this pack is out and what i should technically have is a whole nother pack in the power rack right now so i can continue using it but i don't of course. All right, so I have already checked every single battery for voltage and they all measure the exact same at 3.50 like eight. All of them, all of them test that. So everything is being discharged roughly at the same time. That's pretty much all I know right now. But I was reviewing the Batrium footage right here. And all in all, I mean, really, it wasn't that far off compared to Peter's. His are way off all the time. It was wasn't that far off. I mean, what was it, like a half a volt total? That's really not that bad. There might not be really anything wrong other than a couple of just random lower capacity cells that maybe had a higher internal resistance because I didn't check internal resistance on any of them. I couldn't whenever I was first building all these. I didn't have a charger that was capable of doing that. Now I do, but I am not taking apart 1400 cells to check. I'm just not gonna do it. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna do it for my next 10 kilowatt hour that I've been talking about doing forever and it just has not happened yet. I swear I am going to do it. I still have a box of cells over there that I've tested. I have not counted them. I don't know how many's in there. I still have a box of unopened laptop and medical packs over there that I just have to do it pretty much. Uh, so hopefully I can just do a couple of packs a night or something. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting too far off subject. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pull out a couple of these cells and then throw them in the Fox Novo because that's what I used originally and we'll check them out. And then after that, I'll do an internal resistance test on those ones. And then depending on their capacitance, I will either reuse them or replace them. Got it. All right, let's get to it. We will start with the cell in question here first, and we'll take a look at the cell. I had a request to pull it out, take a look at it, and see if there's anything wrong with it, so we'll do that guy first. Watch how easy this is. A little bit of damage to the actual bus bar itself bending it, I had to move it slightly. The cell holder's a little bit worse for wear. Boom! That's a lot easier than either ripping out all the plastic pieces. All right, so there doesn't appear to be anything physically done on the outside or its appearance, or it, it's not even a Fukushima cell. What the? This is a US 18650GR. It doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Oh, and the capacity that I had originally was 2080. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it or anything like that. I'm gonna pull out some of these other ones real quick too. All right, so that is the first one. Stay there. I'm gonna at least pull out all the, the red Sanyos. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine there's nine sanyos in here and i'm gonna take out all these other green ones just the the fukushima or ones related to that one because i've never had really good luck with these ones in the latest testing so we got one two three four five of those in total one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and this is fourteen so we're gonna pull out all fourteen real quick and do a little check on them
All right, well here they are. It's kind of uh, Christmassy colors. All right, so the first one down here is another one of those 18650 GRs, and it looks like I tested it twice. And the first one was 1975, and the second one was 2101. I'm not sure why I reused it at this, but uh, maybe I just needed some cells. I don't know, so moving on. Next one in the line is UR18650FM. Looks like an FM. And his capacity was 2103. Next one is another of the GRs, and his capacity is 2042. Next one down, this one is another UR18650FM. His capacity is 2035. Next one is 18650GR. His capacity is 2002. Next one is another UR18650FM. His capacity said 2251. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, here's another 18650GS. His number is 2111. Here is another UR18650FM. 20, uh-oh, this one has two tests on it and I scribbled one out. I don't know. 2112. Next one, looks like another FM. His capacity is 2195. I just do not believe that. Another one, 2288. 2057 is a UR18650A. 2149. He's got a white top. Next one, I can't tell if I wrote 22 or 2317. <laughs> Jesus, what was I doing? And the next one is 2363. And this one is another 18650FM. These must have been the very first cells that I ever got because I don't know. I don't know. And none of these are the Fukushimas. So I'm pretty much a liar on that part as well. So yeah, we'll, we'll get all these charged up and do a capacity check and then we'll see what we got. Don't judge. Alrighty, all ready to go. All charging for the one amp capacity check. Alrighty, here are the results down here from left to right. The original was 2037 and we came up with 2074. Next one over is 2042 and it came out to 2080. Next one is 2080 and it came out to 2164. Next one down is 2111, came out to 2090. Next one is 2002 and it came to 2042. Next one has has well, two tests on it, but 2101 and it came out to 2114. Next one after that is 2035 and it came out to 2141. And up here, it looks like the top we have a heater. Now I did do a time lapse during that and I don't know if you couldn't really quite see it very well, but it did shut off in the middle of the discharge and then finally reconnected and started charging and it hasn't quit. So it probably has something to do with the solder connections on here, but I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use that one anyway. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do real quick is I'll get my um, my digital thermometer thing and we'll see how hot it is. All right, I'm going to get a reading of like the wall first just so you guys can see that. It is 73.5 or at least that's what the countertop is. All right, so this cell is 133.5 was the max temperature. And that is 56C. Boom! So yeah, it said 2103 and we're at 5658. Next one is 2112 and we're at 2134. Next one is 2149 and we're at 2152. Next one is 2288 and we're at 2217. Next one is at 2195 and we're at 1935. Next one, it looks like I have 2317. It's hard to say, but we came out with 2185. Uh, next one after that is 2363, and we're at 2241. Next one after that says 2251, and we came out to 2082. That's really not too bad. I mean, some of those weren't too far off. And of course, some of them gained a little bit and some lost a little bit. I don't know. I don't think it was too bad. So apparently I didn't do 
too bad of a job with those cells. So I don't know if there's another cell in here or two that are bad. What I'll do next is a quick resistance check and I'm gonna use the Xtar Dragon VP4 Plus. Definitely a little warm. So yeah, we're not gonna be using that guy. Doki doki, let's get this show on the road. All right, so the 20, oh damn it. You know what I didn't write on here was the freaking numbers. Son of a bitch. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video for that part. Yeah, that was totally my bad. A rookie. All right, anyway, moving on. All right, so the first guy, 54, 40, 59, 51, 51, 40, 37, 54, 67, 72, 65, 63, 62, 62. Alrighty, well there you go. I don't think those numbers were too bad. I might reuse a couple of these cells and I'm gonna replace a couple of the cells as well. But I can't really do that quite yet with brand new, well, with fully charged cells because the pack is only at 3.5 volts and you know, all the cells that are in the box are supposed to be 4.2 volts or at least whatever the charger drops them off at. But I guess technically I could throw them in the charger and do a discharge test until it gets to around the same voltage and then pull them out then throw them into the battery pack i mean i guess i could technically do that more than likely i probably won't be around whenever it's at the 3.5 volts so um yeah i don't know so i still have to fix the charger so hopefully i can get that done tomorrow and well hopefully it works after that and i guess if it doesn't work then i'll i mean i i, I could technically throw it in the power rack and use the batrium to balance it all out but that's a pretty big difference what's going to happen is the other long mons are going to be on like full bypass mode for a long time and i really don't want to kind of stress them out like that yeah that's pretty much it or maybe i'll just throw a couple of TP4056 chargers on it in the meantime, just in case the antimatter doesn't work. But if it does work, that'll be super awesome because I have all kinds of stuff that I want to do with it. All right, well, other than that, tell me what you guys think of all of these little tests on pack 14. And is there anything else that you would like to see done to this pack before I completely put it back together other than changing the fuses? I'll do that whenever I replace the, the cells. So yeah, if there is anything else that you guys would like to see done to this pack before I reassemble it and throw it back in the power wall. It's getting warm out. We're getting hours of sun and I'm not using it. So I really need to get this back together. So hurry up and put your comments down there if you want to see something else done. Otherwise, yeah, it's going back together as soon as I get it charged back up. That's all I got. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, uh, I think that was the right one. Yeah, that was the right one. And then, how many did I miss? Hmm, forgot one. Uh, all charging for the one capacity amp um uh um yeah dang all right that doesn't want to say um 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 and and i know you were all wondering what the heater is now it's still hot as shit 68 so i don't know what's going on with this one but it's not full charged either